Mark. Yes. Damon. Yes. Tonight, you'll be taking a lie detector test. One of you will be hooked up to the machine while the other asks questions. And then you'll switch. So who wants to get hooked up first? I want to get over <laughs> How many of these have you taken? Four or five. Yeah. Okay, a few questions to calibrate the machine. Is your name Mark Cuban? Yes. Were you born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Yes. Are you the owner of the Dallas Cowboys? No. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Before you made your fortune, you slept on the floor in a three-bedroom apartment with five other roommates. Is that right? Yes. Would you say you were one of the cleaner roommates? No. Did you ever clean the toilet? No. Can you remember the last time you cleaned the toilet? Yes. Do you ever eat your roommate's leftovers? Absolutely. <laughs> Do you think I'd be a good roommate? That you'd be a good roommate? Yeah. yeah. Is it true that in college you taught disco dancing to sororities? Yes. Can you show me? Yes. You're a billionaire. It must feel good to say that, right? Yes. Can you say I'm a billionaire without smiling? No. <laughs> it's almost like Simon says. <laughs> Do you ever check your Forbes billionaire ranking? Yes. Have you ever corrected someone after they called you a millionaire? <laughs> no, well, probably, yeah. Would you rather have dinner with this fellow billionaire? What? Oh, yeah. Over me. Oh, wait, this fellow billionaire over you? I'll take her. <laughs> Do you think it's fair that Kylie Jenner calls herself a self-made billionaire? Yeah. You once wrote in your blog that you can never think of any good reason for any sane person to wear a suit. Do you still feel that way? Yes. So, do the Shark Tank producers force you to wear one? Yes. You're a big fan of graphic tees, right? Yep. Would you say, <laughs> would you say your closet is over 50% graphic tees? No. Do you own any FUBU shirts? No. Why not? I threw them away. <laughs> I used to. You once said you try to read about three hours every day. Yes. That's a lot of books. Wouldn't you say? Yes. I've written five books. Have you read any of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> I promoted them, but never read. Why not? Next. <laughs> <laughs> What about Lori Grenier's book, Invent It, Sell It, Bank It? Did you read that? She wrote a book. <laughs> <laughs> what about Robert Herzebeck's book, Driven? Ro Robert can write? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever read the Fifty Shades of Grey series? No, but fun fact, there's a picture of me in the first movie. Really? For real. Telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Your own brother said you made him start in the stock room at your company. Is that true? Yes. Would you let your daughters work for you? Yes. Would you make them start as unpaid interns? Yes. You currently hold the Guinness World Record for the largest single e-commerce transaction of a jet for $40 million. Did you know that? Yes. Is that one of your prouder accomplishments? No. Prouder than winning an Emmy? No. Prouder than being my friend? Oh, I love being your friend. <laughs> Chocolate Thunder, are you kidding me? You once tried to be an actor in LA, right? Yes. Is it true you were, you were almost cast in the movie Twister? Not almost, but I got a call back. Are you still bitter that you weren't cast? Yes. <laughs> Would you say you're more proud of your acting work on Entourage over Sharknado 3? Yes. I was good in Entourage. They invited me for one episode, they kept me for eight. 
You were also a contestant on Dancing with the Stars in 2007, is yes. that correct? Yes. Would you say that was one of the more challenging things you ever done? Ever, yes. So would you say, in some ways, dancing is harder than making a billion dollars? In some ways, yes. You are the majority owner of the Dallas Mavericks, yes. right? Be honest, do you have a favorite player? Maybe. But he retired. Who? Dirk. And you played basketball in high school, right? No, I got cut. Donald Trump, among other things, has called you dopey, boring, and a loser. Be honest, does his trolling ever hurt your feelings? No. Are you sick of being asked if you'll run for president one day? Yes. Will you run for president one day? <laughs> yes. He's telling the truth. <sighs> Let's wrap it up. At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? No. Oh, really? Say it again. No. No, he's telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See, it was easy. It was fun. Anybody else in here nervous with me? No. You ready to go? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Is your name Damon John? Yes. Were you born in Brooklyn? Yes. Have you ever taken a lie detector test before? No. Is your birthday February 23rd, 1969? Yes. Okay, let's get to the meat of it. You said you started working at the age of 10 by handing out flyers, is that correct? Yes. Do you remember what kind of things you spent money on at 10 years old? Sneakers. Fake jewelry. And you grew up in Hollis, Queens, right? Yes. Would you say you're the most successful person to come out of your neighborhood? No. More successful than this guy? No. What about this guy? Don't know. Um, okay, let me rephrase that. More successful than this guy after the fire festival? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still feel strong ties to that community? Yes. Would you ever invest in a local bodega? No. <laughs> you grew up in the same neighborhood as a lot of hip hop artists, correct? Yes. Did you ever consider a career in music? Every day of my life. Yeah. Is your new album of speeches scored over music your attempt at breaking into the industry? Somewhat. Why didn't you sing on the album? Because I can't sing. Would you sing, sing me a song if I ask? Yes. I'm asking. Rapper's Let going. your mind and your body be free. Dance with me. Joe, Anna, Joe, Anna. Um, have you ever been an actor? Yes. Did you ever act in a Sharknado movie? Yes. Are you a better Sharknado actor than I am? I didn't see your role. <laughs> Did, were you killed in Sharknado? Yes. I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that when you were first starting your billion dollar business, FUBU, you were still waiting tables at Red Lobster? Yes. During that time, did customers ever not tip you? Yes. And so when you weren't tipped, did you do anything to retaliate? They already left. I could not spit in their drink. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I would be a good customer at Red Lobster? Yes. What would I eat? You would not eat any meat. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, would you consider me a good tipper? Yes. Do you ever still eat at Red Lobster? Yes. What do you order? Crab Alfredo. Is it true that you started FUBU with $40? Yes. Do you think this guy could have started his fashion company with $40? If he did the right way after he was famous. If Kanye came on Shark Tank and asked you to invest in his dome housing properties, would you do it? No. Do you think a FUBU graphic tee with my face on it would sell? Highly doubt it. Do you like hot butter on your breakfast toast? Yes. <laughs> Do you like to tell pirate jokes? Yes. Does anybody dislike your pirate jokes? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you dislike them? <laughs> I'm not sitting there. <laughs> 
Um, you tell people that there are 100,000 words in the English language and we only use 5,000 every day. Is that true? Five to 7,000. Do you have a favorite word? Love. Love. Okay. Did you give yourself the name Chocolate Thunder or did somebody give it to you? I gave it to myself. Does anybody actually call you Chocolate Thunder other than yourself? You do. I call you Chalk. The whole Shark Tank set <laughs> called me Chocolate Thunder. If an employee did not call you Chocolate Thunder on the Shark Tank set, would you fire them? My employees or, <laughs> yes, or, your employees. or other people's employees? If they did not call me Chocolate, Chocolate Thunder, Thunder on the Shark absolutely Tank Absolutely not. On the Shark Tank set, do you sit on one pillow or more than one pillow? <laughs> <laughs> I sit on two. <laughs> Before you accepted a seat on Shark Tank, you were going to turn the show down for a role in Keeping Up with the Kardashians, is that right? Yes. Is it true that Khloe Kardashian is the reason you accepted the Shark Tank job? Yes, she said she wouldn't get in my way. Does that make um, Khloe your favorite Kardashian? Yes. Do you still watch the show Keeping Up with the Kardashians? No. <laughs> Are there any investments you made on Shark Tank that you later regretted? Many of them. <laughs> Are you a better investor than me? No. Is it true that you were named Presidential Ambassador for Global Entrepreneurship by President Obama? Yes. Would you say you two are friends? No. Are you better friends with him than you are with me? No. <laughs> I don't even think I have a phone number on him. <laughs> or an email. Do you think he considered me for the position? Absolutely. Oh, I didn't know that. Is being friendly with the Obama more valuable than having $1 billion? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just need the money. You work out every morning, is that right? No. You work out once a month, is that right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you beat this woman in a push-up contest? Probably not. <laughs> could you beat Barbara Corcoran in a push-up contest? Yes. <laughs> could you beat me in a push-up contest? Don't know yet. <laughs> Probably not. Have I blew on my shoulder, the only reason. When I was okay. healthy, I would beat all of you. Okay. Have you ever embellished your wealth to an investor? Absolutely. Have you ever embellished your wealth to a girl? Absolutely. <laughs> Is that I'm currently embellishing to my wife my wealth. <laughs> Is that ever a strategy worth pursuing with women? No. Depends on, depends on where you are in life. When you were single, did that strategy work well for you? Yes, but we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about when, when, you, were, you, know, when you were single. Uh, <laughs> no, we're talking about when I was broke, and I, there was only way to go up. Exactly. Oh, do you think this guy has ever lied about his wealth? Every day of his life. <laughs> what about me? Do you really think I'm worth a billion dollars? Yes. Okay, let's wrap it up. At any point in this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? No. One more question. Who's more handsome, you or me? Me. He's telling the truth. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>